for your cooperation. If you have any questions, please raise your hands. Uh, we, what we don't see is the storage room in the back. How would that work? And so um, what you need to understand is the following thing. One, the storage actually stores multiple different types of batteries, roughly about 10 of each type, and includes the ability to do things like extended uh, uh, storage so we can put more and more types of this battery. In effect, it has what you're seeing is the conveyor that comes from the outside of the storage. Um, it has a, a, a fast charging area in the sense that we can cool it, we can maintain temperatures inside. Um, reality is it's a, it's a fairly boring room in, uh, in the sense that it's a conveyor belt, a conveyor belt of an electric charge and, uh, and a uh, bunch of, of battery bays that look exactly like what you see inside the car. So when the, car, when the battery comes back, it actually latches back on the other side to what it thinks is a car. But its reality is just a, just a sort of a shell of a car for it. And then it continues to get charged almost as it is outside. It, think of every battery is about 250 liters in, in scope, in, in volume. So if you're storing 10 batteries per type of car, you're, you're roughly at an, at an order of about 2,500 liters plus some storage, plus some um, cables, some cooling, etc. So you're looking at roughly about three to 4,000 liters per type of car that we're serving. Um, all of it dug underground, all of it is hidden from the eye, you don't see it. It's basically how much sand we need to dig out. Um, it's, it's actually less space than the, uh, uh, than the gas tanks underneath the gas station. So it's, it's a simpler gas station if you want to, to think of installation. How much do you have to pay for service? Uh, if you would please wait for the microphone to reach you, uh, because uh, the uh, a question cannot be heard by the audience, and if you could please say your name and administration uh, affiliation. Uh, how much is the service cost? Uh, my name is Kamata from NHK, but uh, how much is uh, the uh, the service cost? Vision that. Pricing for electric car driving would be the same as it is for gasoline cars in the sense that you would buy the car. This would be your car. If you break it, it's yours. The battery is not yours. And so the cost of the battery, the network, the electrons, the switching, everything in the aggregate would be priced into the cost of a kilometer. And you would pay per kilometer in a similar fashion to what you do with gasoline where you pay either on a per kilometer basis, similar to the price you pay outside here in the gas station, or you buy a monthly subscription fee that covers all the kilometers you can drive. And you'll see some people going for the one month fee, and some people will go for the one kilometer fee, depending on how much they drive. The switching itself doesn't cost. So when you come into the station, we don't see this as a service as a matter of fact, we see it as an inconvenience. We, w instead of you paying the gas station when you come into the gas station, if you come too many times to switch because we didn't serve you well, we'll pay you. Microphone. Mike, the gentleman at the front uh, wearing a gray jacket. The uh, other cost issue, the cost of installing one of these stations. Yeah. So a station with storage, with batteries, would be roughly in the order of magnitude of a half a million dollars, give or take. The more batteries, the more types we need to store, obviously the cost goes higher. Uh, but it will still be cheaper than a gas station. So if you think of a gas station today, the average cost of a gas station installed is somewhere in the order of a million to two million dollars. And this is half the price, probably even less than half the price of a gas station. There's some questions here on this side. Uh, the uh, woman wearing a beige jacket, fourth row from the front. The person wearing a mask. The lady wearing a mask, please. Nikkei Business, my name is Ishiguro. Electric vehicles, various uh, kinds of manufacturers are 
Well, different manufacturers have uh, batteries in different parts of the car in different locations. Uh, if it's underneath the seat, it seems as though, taking a look at your demonstration, that the battery can be stored only beneath the seat. Are you able to respond to the situation of various manufacturers in terms of where the battery is located? There are three locations that you can actually put a, an, an electric battery. All of them, by the way, have to be outside the crumple zone of a car. So if, if you think of a car, it needs to crash. And effectively, this part of the car is not safe, and this part of the car is not safe. Now, if you have a long sedan, then the area right next to where the gas tank is is safe. That's why the gas tank is there. So in effect, you have three locations. One is right behind the, the rear axle, one is between the two axles, and one is right behind the front axle. This area is usually tough to handle because you've got all the, um, the drivetrain components in, uh, in here, so it's usually taken out of the consideration. And what you'll see is in most cases, the most logical place to put is in between the two axles. It's the safest place to put uh, a device that costs almost as much as the whole car. Um, as a result of that, you're, you're left with that location, and height-wise, you can't put a battery at the top of the car because the car will topple. You can't put it to one side or the other because it will tip, and so you're bound to put it in the middle between the, the axles. It's the most logical space. Now, some car makers have actually extended the battery to go in a variety of different storage locations. We think that's more of an anomaly than the case, and I think in the future what you'll see, as, especially as energy density of batteries continue to increase, the battery s scope, the size of the battery, will go smaller, much like we had with cell phones. Remember the first cell phone, the Motorola brick? The battery was more than the phone. And over time, what you got is the battery got so small that at some point it just didn't make sense to make it smaller. What you'll see here is the same case where it will fit between the two wheels, between the two axles, and that's pretty much the standard location where you will find it. Now, there'll be different sizes and there'll be different shapes, but that's the safest location to put it in. Thank you.